All right. Welcome to Beyond All Reason. I am your host, Seto Kaiva. We are currently, well, about to watch a game on Altair Crossing with Goopy on the right versus Nobi on the left. Let me just go ahead and kick this off here. Okay. Off we go. 3-3. Three, three. Mex is on either side. There are two perfect spot darts to go with. You could get the corners with the hills, but then you'd have a lot of trouble getting down, of course. Uh-huh. Oh, Armada here. A tactical flexibility faction focused on speed and cloaking devices. Well, they are the faction that gets the most cloaking, but... We may not see some of that because you need to get the higher tiers for a lot of that. Ah, uh, the dreaded Cortex. This is a perfect matchup here. They are traditionally opposed to each other, these two factions. Cortex is a brute force faction with implacable defenses as well. Now, they do have a bit of a slower economy start because their wind generators cost more, but it shouldn't be that big a deal. There's so many trees around the map, you can just reclaim a lot of energy too. That, that may be what we see too, especially if we see a lot of uh, bot starts to go with. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yep, there it is. Okay. Bot start is perfect on this map. Usually, whenever you see a lot of hills like this, robots can go up hills much faster. They can traverse high ground. Like, I'm, I'm not sure a vehicle could even get up these ramps here that well. And vehicles will traditionally have much harder times with it, but a bot can easily go up high ground. They can shoot down from the hills. If you get, like, shooter bots on the hills here, you can cover all of this here. This is devastating. If you're trying to defend this and enemy flanks you from up here, the ramps will face this way. Oh, yeah. That is death. So you have to cover the ramp here. Oh. Okay, this is... What the Armada gets a specialty unit. The court doesn't get the flea. Fleas, hack, they can see quite far. Much further than, well, actually not much further, but it's enough with their speed to get away from the, um, the laser bots here. These things, a bit different from the Armada's version. Peewee's coming up. The Peewee has machine guns, but the AKs, they have lasers with instant hit, essentially. A bit um, shorter, well, actually, more range. Oh, I'm gonna see it here. Yep. The Peewees will catch it with their higher speed, but AKs with their higher range can kite them a little bit. And if you have a lot more AKs, which you can get, they're, they're 36 metal in this game. 36 metal, 880 energy for the, each AK. That's pretty cheap. These Peewees, 48 metal. Each metal extractor makes roughly two metal every single tick. Oh, just caught that one dead. Got a resurrection, but that, that's it. That's what you want to have, especially in a map like this with these rocks, these metal and these rocks to reclaim. Look, 80 metal, that's two infantry bots here, right off the bat. Oh, did not want that to happen. <laughs> oh, yes, got resurrection bot caught, but Goopy still has his. Not only does he get the rocks now, he gets the Necro, gets the AK wreckages. He may even decide to resurrect them instead of picking them up. Okay. Two construction bots on the left, assisting the factory. Build a mother construction, another res bot. A little lacking for the military. There's one radar tower, he will see these. The radar tower has the infantry bots in range, he sees the three more coming in. He knows he's going to be in a bit of trouble. But Goopy also just can't rush straight on ahead because the commander with its devastating disintegrator gun will just kill them all instantly. But if he flanks either way, of course he's still going to see it, but he has to attack where that commander is not. Until... Oh. Until he gets this many. There. Uh-oh. Yeah, you don't want to go up against that many peewees with a commander. They will surround it, and with their flanking damage bonus, they will kill it easily. In this game, when multiple units surround a unit, they will deal proportionally more damage as their angle of attack approaches 180 degrees. So two PUEs directly on opposite sides of a unit were going to deal double damage, both of them. That's really devastating if you essentially just surround and just kill even high health units like tanks. It's really nasty to have against these. Thuds. 
These are for pushing and trench positions. Not so much fighting mobile units, but she does see these coming right through the trees. But will he stop it in time? He doesn't have radar over here to see that he's deploying two laser towers and all these thuds. Oh, here we go. No. But as I get close, it's hard for them to miss. Oh, the two laser towers, though, are doing work. Picking apart with accurate shots. Lasers deal much more damage up close. They will deal up to 50% more damage, I believe. Actually, they deal less damage the further away the target is from the laser. But... They will deal a lot more when they're up close. Ah. Oh. Catches the constructor. That's not good when you're trying to expand. Goopy doesn't have any expansions yet, doesn't look like. Nobi has... Of course, that's a smart play. When you've got radar up at home to see the flank, where you build the first laser tower, it's the very first thing you build to try and catch the Pee Wee harass. Of course, one is not going to do it. I mean, if you have, like, Pee Wees are a bit stronger than AKs. Four or five can probably overrun just one LLT really quickly. And so you want proportionally more. Of course, LLTs themselves are only 90 metal. They're pretty cheap. But you got to bear in mind... Ugh. See, that's the major loss. That was the major loss to all those POEs is losing the wind generators on this map. It's not so big a deal if you have the build power to push into reclaiming the trees for energy. Ah, uh, he didn't see that. Uh, Goofy just picks up both extractors, kills the AKS, kills the LLT, kills the mineral extractor. Kills everything! That is how devastating! That right there is how incredibly dangerous Peewees can be. He is now entrenching the middle. He's got a radar up. AK is in a commander coming into the south. He has to push with that many forces just to try and catch up now. Of course, Scoopy is almost out of Peewees now. He's switching to hammers. Hammers are their Armada counterpart to Thuds. Oh, he picked up the Resbot. That's pretty good, Nobi. You want to catch this if you can't see. Resbots, they're stealthed, which means radar will not see them. I'm going to turn this volume down a little bit. It's a little too high. There we go. Okay. The Resbots are stealthed. They can go right in under the radar, and they can vacuum up all the reclaim. See, in this middle... This radar cannot see any resurrection bots, even if it were under their domain. Plus, the radar is also blocked by the hills. There's a really big blind spots here. You want to build the radar on high ground if you can. Here, here, here. We'll catch it. Anything around the hills. Okay, we got a good engagement. Oh, are we going to see it? Yep. Oh, there's the disintegrator. There's the disintegrator. That takes a big fat 500 energy at, per shot out of that bar. He's making 250 per turn, Goopy is. He can afford that. He can afford it a lot easier if he has a storage to store more energy, but uh, if he sends anything close to that commander, just one shot, that's all it takes. One disintegrator will kill anything in the game, even the latest tech experimental units. And yes, there are those too, but uh, you're not even going to see tier 2 in a game like this. Not, not a 1v1, not a duel. If you're making T2 in a duel, you're making a mistake. You want to push T1, because the second you sit back, your enemy will overwhelm you. Uh-huh. Goopy's hammer's doing work, but he has to rely on the LLTs to protect if the AKs charge. You could have still picked off that one, probably. Oh, Goopy. Oh, there it is. He comes and takes the hill, just like I said at the beginning of the game. The ramp faces this way, which Goopy can control, except the top half. He picks this up. If he builds some towers up here, if he puts his hammers up here, that's the thing. We may see it still. If he puts ballistic trajectory units like these plasma bots on a hill firing down, they will get a range bonus. Right now, the range is like that. That's uh, pretty short, but it will get... See, you can kind of see, maybe, it's shortening a bit when the circle tries to go uphill. It 
plexus. Things that try to shoot uphill with a ballistic trajectory, they're not going to get as far. So, it's just a pure profit. If you can take the high ground, do it. Now, if, if it's a straight trajectory like a rocket or a missile, it doesn't have that problem. Oh! Oh, he could catch it, but he doesn't see it. He's not microwaving yet. Nobody worrying about his commander. Uh, out of energy. Out of energy. Nothing to shoot the disintegrator with. Not that he could catch them. These things are outranging the commander's just basic laser. To say nothing of the disintegrator. The disintegrator is even shorter than his max range. Ah, oh, but he catches the shield. He's got the shield now. Uh, the AK has just been found. <laughs> What's his radar range? Does he have one? No. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Yep. He Actually, he could have seen that. He's just not quite looking. Uh, that's not good. That's quite a few hammers. Even with infantry, you push like that. Dangerous. Hmm. Uh, pushing uphill. Oh, they're, they're getting the uphill advantage, but isn't enough. Hammers are just a little bit faster. Duds are have a, have a more durability to them. Pretty good engagement. There's no rest bots, though. What? Oh, there's one. That's gonna get caught, though. It's not watching. He's picking up the Rex. The Rex are the key to this game. If you pick up the Rex, the one who's still alive, who vacuums up all the reclaim, all the metal, they win. They win that engagement. You can kill all you want, but the Rex left behind, whoever gets those, they've won. Every 36 metal AKs leaves a 22 metal wreck, I believe. You can figure it like the 60% percentage or so. You get that reclaim, you just get the resource advantage. That's just how it works. Look at all these. Look at all these. If you have enough res bots, you win. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's not watching. Uh-oh. Goofy. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Goopy. Oh, no. Got caught. Goopy got caught by Novi. His commander came up. Didn't blow up. The nuke didn't blow the commander up thanks to the damage thing. You kill the commander first like that and you win. Hey, that's all it takes. That's all it takes to win the game is you destroy your Indus commander. Was losing a bit for the game. Goopy's got a little bit better micro, but... Didn't watch the commander in time. That's the danger of putting your commander on the front line. I mean, they're 300 build power. That's perfect for building defenses, for pushing, for getting the reclaim up. But yikes, that's danger. That's your you're putting your king in your chess game. You're putting the king up front. That's that's not good. Well, we didn't see any capping of the geos. Much capping of the south or the north mexes or the corners. You'd see that a lot more if this were a 2v2. A lot more action would be going on, even on a map this small. I will be trying to cast something like that later, probably. But, ho oh, ho. Well, that was pretty exciting. These are two very high level players for the game. So we were seeing quite a lot of good skill going on. And I will be looking for more of that. And I will be looking to show that to you guys later. This is Seto Kaiva for Beyond All Reason, a spiritual successor to Total Annihilation, and arguably better than Supreme Commander in my opinion. Signing off.